uh, you know, you have the maintenance phase. It goes to the production and you have the maintenance phase. So this is what is the software development life cycle. So why you as a manual tester, you're learning it? Because testing, all testing is one of the phases of this software development life cycle. And as, as I've told you, as a, as, as a software guy, this is the bare minimum that you need to understand. What is it? It's software development life cycle. Okay. Yeah, let's close it. Thank you. This conference will now be recorded. So let me share the screen, guys. Okay, so as I'm telling you, every session gets recorded. Hang on one second, please. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so the first thing I want uh, everybody to know that is, okay, so there are people who are already asking the questions. So Mr. Rohit Kumar has asked this question. Okay, so I will, I'll I'll pose this question over there. This is by Rohit Kumar, but I'll take that question a little later, Rohit, but let me at least, you know, set, set the ground rules for these classes and set the expectations for these classes. Okay, the first thing is every session gets recorded. Okay, and you have lifetime access to the videos. Okay, so the whole course is for uh, 15 to 20 hours. So it will go for close to one month. Okay, so this is one month of free course, completely end-to-end -end free course, end-to-end -end free course. By the way, are you guys able to hear me? Again, I'm repeating by the guys. Some of them say that they are not able to hear me. Yes. Uh, in, yes okay. Yes. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Okay. I, I noticed that some of them are not able to hear me. If that is the case, then there's a problem with your system, guys. So please try to log in from your mobile phone. You know, it can be accessed from your mobile. Okay. Or, you know, it can be accessed from your system, laptop or whatever. Okay. So this is an end-to-end -end course free. You know, that whole one month or 20 days of total course is free. It's not just one session or two sessions. Okay. And as I've told you, every session gets recorded. You have lifetime access to the videos. If you, if you have completed the course, okay, if you have completed the course, okay, then you will get a course completion certificate okay from the institute okay so isha training solutions is a popular institute okay so it's good to have a course completion certificate from isha definitely you can put it on your resume it will help you certainly okay so once you have completed the entire course you approach us okay so we will check you know how, how many sessions you have taken and all that based on that we will be able to give you the course completion certificate okay and always please be mute always please please be on mute and whenever you have a question okay whenever you have a question okay you can either post it in chat window okay uh, of the go to meeting or unmute yourself and ask okay so these are the ground rules brother so with these ground rules we will go ahead okay and uh, i want this class to be a do play do play means you know not just from my side i will be speaking okay so whenever i ask the questions i expect that you will be active and you will be providing the answer the questions will not be uh, very very difficult because i designed this course design this course assuming there will be some non it people okay non it trainings so definitely okay so my trainings are like very very simple basic okay uh, as if you know you're complete layman assuming that you're completely layman i'll be talking for some of you you are already into it then this no this course is not for you because like small small things i'll take a lot of time to explain because there will be a non-it people and they get overwhelmed when they listen to the words like code drop okay so 
something like you know pseudocode uml when they start hearing these words okay they get overwhelmed like you know environment servers so once we start talking about this terminology people get overwhelmed so definitely you know i'll take my own time sweet time and then explain so the classes will be nice and slow so you just have to pay the attention and again i'm telling you the classes whenever i ask any question okay i expect that you know you will be answering that okay definitely then you know only if you're answering then i know that you're listening then that's where i draw the energy and then i'll be able to put my hundred percent okay so this course again goes for one month guys so i expect that everybody who is coming over here is very serious they want to create the careers in it okay and this course will definitely help you to you know create your course on it if somebody wants to not to do manual testing as your career even then this course is for you because there are so many things okay that you will learn in the course which will which will help you to build a career in that okay having said that let's get let's get started but before i get started there was one question which is already posted by rohit mr rohit kumar let me pose that question on the uh, on my notes mr rohit kumar as manual testing has coding or not no there is no coding involved if yes what is the level of coding required obviously there is not much coding or there is a zero coding yes there will be little bit of things that you might have to learn like few unix commands and few sql commands you might have to learn or you will have to learn after this course which will help you to crack an interview okay just the manual testing might not help you know you will have to learn this unix and sql which i'll tell you where to learn from uh, but uh, you once you learn those i think you are good to go but there's absolutely no coding required uh, rohit okay i hope i have answered your question rohit now let's jump into this okay now you might have come to the class knowing that you know it's just a free course but some of you might be very serious and say that you know let me build my career into testing okay then why did you choose uh, to be a uh, to be a manual tester okay people call it as a manual tester or simple some people will call it as a functional tester as well okay so some people would be would be calling you as a functional tester let's assume you have already become you know uh, this you have completed this course you got the job so what you will be called you will be called some people will call you a manual tester some people will call you a functional tester some people will call you a quality analyst so you will be called as a quality analyst as well okay so you will be called by different names you know based on the which organization you have joined and all that okay so why did you choose this field you know the testing field you know the software testing field or why did you choose to become a manual tester okay so <clears throat> first thing is as rohit asked no coding required okay no coding required okay most of the people are afraid of coding so this one you know obviously is no coding required and um, generally you know there are a lot of jobs okay in the market okay in the market okay may not be these days it is a little tricky to uh, say this but still there is good number of jobs which are there i'll tell you why there are good number of jobs but not right now okay um, and one more thing as long as software is there okay as long as software is there okay there will be testing okay so you know this is as simple as that you know you the software is being developed you know software is being created then definitely this testing is there so they, they go in hand hand to hand you cannot you can never say that you know testing there is no more testing jobs or you know the testing field has ended nothing like that okay so that is there okay um, and uh, i think that is good enough you know no coding required lot of jobs in the market and uh, testing is there forever okay so i think this is good enough reasons for you to you know pursue your career in the uh, in your manual testing okay now there are more questions coming in okay so uh, guys you know try to um, you know ask some questions which are pertinent to what is being asked brother if you have some generic questions like that uh, we will take that little offline but i'll still answer okay automation testing 
uh, coding required so Pratiba has asked this question in automation testing coding is required some of you might be overwhelmed you might not know what is automation testing there is something called automation testing as well which I'll come to later uh, but Pratiba just to answer that question yes definitely uh, the coding is required you will have to learn Java very well and there are different tools based on the tools uh, you have to learn certain programming languages I'll get to that later Pratiba but to answer that question in short yes so uh, there is somebody somebody called uh, Microsoft account I don't know his name he says sir I cannot write coding please help me for manual testing no coding is required okay now Pavan has asked a question is this a real time exposure in this course we try to you know give some real time exposure in the last two to three classes will give you a small project and uh, you know uh, make you write some test cases okay but look at the overwhelming number already there are hundred students I cannot review all the people's hundreds test cases or whatever you do it but you know we will try to give uh, some applications and all that and let's see how we can you know review that work okay so uh, we know let's take those questions later okay once the class is done let's one hour is done I have planned something for the class okay so after that we will answer these generic questions which are nothing related to what is happening right now okay so you hold on those questions I cannot just keep answering those questions lot of people they don't even know what testing is so if you start asking that that becomes tricky okay hold on to your questions which are not related to what I'm saying okay uh, definitely I will answer this question but I'll answer one question uh, what people are saying can you give project live as I've told you I've already answered Sachin I'll give you some application okay uh, which you are expected to write some test cases we will see how to review that work but you know we will try to do something on that trend okay so we know what is the difference between automation and manual we'll get to that later okay I'll take that offline with questions okay now so guys, oh my god please mute yourself guys you know that is the bare minimum I'm asking okay so I've muted all of you again because there's some noise background noise okay so now <coughs> so then you're thinking so guys I don't know coding I don't know nothing about IT then why somebody in IT will take me okay I don't know coding okay I don't know much about IT okay uh, then why will somebody hire me as a software tester okay software tester again I'm saying you will be called as if you're a software tester you can also be called as a functional tester or a manual tester or a QA okay so why will somebody hire me I don't know anything okay so why why is that okay so or let me put this question in a different way okay why organizations need test engineers okay why they are recruiting these software testers okay why okay IT companies okay are hiring okay this QA guys or this functional testers or this manual testers or this software test engineers okay so everything is same you know all of them is same why are they hiring this okay so simple thing one person cannot do any everything okay in the organization there are developers okay there are developers okay who will be okay there are developers who will be creating the software okay or you become little bit technical okay they say that okay they will be one second brother hang on some people are not able to join okay tell them to join using the mobile mobile say then we cannot do anything it's a problem with them maybe try them from mobile or different uh, mobiles or different computers okay so so <coughs> so one person okay cannot do everything okay for example a developer will be uh, developing the software or creating the code or writing the code okay so or coding it okay so he, the developer will be coding or in other words he will be creating that software or he will be developing that software okay so uh, 
and then there are other people who will be doing different uh, you know um, uh, things so one person cannot do everything so for testing there should be a separate set of people and that's why uh, they will be they will be you know hiring the software testers and fortunately unfortunately as i've told you there's not much coding required and if you don't know about it after this class definitely you will be knowing a whole lot about it uh, trust me guys after this 20 days or one month okay 20 to 20 days of live sessions and one month of uh, um, these sessions definitely you will be knowing a whole lot okay again guys you know a lot of background noise please mute yourself okay every time i cannot keep saying this you know i expect that you know as soon as you join you will mute yourself okay because you know the other people who might be concentrating for them this class may be very important and uh, if there is a lot of background noise it's very hard to hear okay jayant go ahead you know i see that you have a question go ahead jayant So Jayant is not posting the question. Let, let me go ahead. Now you are saying that Kumar sir, okay, I am from different, you know, I have a lot of people call me before the class and they say that I am from B Pharmacy, I am from M Pharmacy, I am from BCom, I am from Arts, I am from Science, okay. So can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Okay, for this, you know, I have ex for ex explicitly for these kind of students, okay, or the trainees who are coming to the class, okay, so I have I have posted this so what what exactly or what kind of stuff I need or what exactly do I need to get this job or what yeah what exactly I need uh, I need to acquire or I need so that I get this job so that I I am hired I, I am hired or get this job okay so what exactly I need okay the first thing is obviously whatever is whatever I'm teaching in the class okay teaching in the class okay or in other words the subject you need to have a very very good knowledge of software testing okay so you have to develop the subject which i will be providing in the class okay you have to pay attention and you have to learn you have to practice and you have to do a lot of googling if you don't understand a concept do the google get really deep into that collect as much of information and then you know that's how you will do it okay so again i'm saying okay whatever I'm teaching in the class that is absolutely essentially required and whatever I'm not teaching in the class also you will have to scale up how okay let's say there is a concept there is something called SDLC let's say uh, Jay the session is already getting recorded okay so don't worry about it Jay okay so let's say I'm talking about SDLC maybe I'll spend one hour on it but m you might have to go to Google and then get as much information as possible go to YouTube videos get as much information as possible and write everything down in your notes and you go really deep into it okay that's what you have to do so what is that I'm teaching in the class absolutely essential what is that I'm not teaching you have to do a lot of research collect all the information and put together okay that's what it is that's what I'm saying okay so the first thing is yes the subject okay and I'm telling you what is that subject and how to scale up or how to learn that subject as well okay and uh, anytime guys you know if I'm using some words which are very difficult for you to understand please don't hesitate to unmute yourself and say that Kumar sir I didn't understood can you please repeat it or you use the word called uh, scale up okay I don't understand that word scale up can you please tell me for example I'm saying okay don't hesitate to do that okay don't there are like 100 people should I talk or not yes okay please unmute yourself and speak don't worry about it you know you you um, my time you know I'm spending my time so that you understand this class very well and you are spending your valuable time I'm sure the time is valuable for you and you are spending the time so that you get the maximum out of the class okay so yes what exactly I need the subject the subject knowledge you have to develop and again you come to the class you you do what I must ask for and after the course also I'll ask you to do certain things and the subject will be absolutely clear the next thing is the confidence okay so every time you go to the interview the interviewer will look for the subject and also the confidence okay how do I develop this confidence 
we will talk about that after this course is done okay so there are some interview questions that i will give you probably the last two days okay so you will sit in front of the uh, mirror practice those questions day in day out and uh, you know you you talk to them as if you know you have done it not that you have uh, mucked it up or by hat it okay very very important okay and you have to show that confidence you have to show that confidence to the interviewer when you go to the interview if the interviewer is giving the hand to you for a handshake you have to confidently you know give the handshake sit in front of him look into the eyes and confidently speak if you don't know something confidently tell that you didn't get an opportunity to work on that but again i'm telling you you have to practice this day in day out in front of the mirror okay and uh, uh, I'll talk about it King so practice it in front of the mirror day in day out so that you get the confidence and certain people I'll try to take the mock interviews as well okay in front of everybody okay uh, there are few questions which are coming in I'll take those questions but let me complete this okay and the next thing is communication skills okay this is very very important whether you are looking for a manual tester or any anything in IT field you're looking for a development job you're looking for an ERP guy you're looking for perform you you looking for a performance testing job or an automation testing job or a manual testing job or any damn thing you're looking for a business analyst job okay or any damn thing in IT okay the, the most important thing is the skill set guys I've taken I've worked as a senior manager manager for multiple companies I have hired a lot of people okay when let's say 10 people comes in comes to me and there are only one position and let's say out of the 10 people five people are technically all of them are technically good I'll go with the guy who has a good communication skills okay so communication skills is very very important again I'm saying let's say there are there is there is only one person came to the interview okay let's say there are five people came to the interview and there is one urgent requirement and all the five people are technically very good okay uh, but none of them have a good communication skills none of them have a good communication skills then I'm not hiring any one of them again I'm telling you I'm not hiring any one of them that important okay so do whatever is required to improve your communication skills okay if you go to the communication skills courses I don't think it will help okay maybe it might help to certain extents okay that spoken English classes I don't know whether it will help or not maybe you can find a very very good spoken English class somewhere and you can join but online classes doesn't work for it but again I'm telling you guys communication skills is of absolute importance if you want to become an IT engineer okay so this is exactly what you need so any questions in this please unmute and ask and there are some questions which are posted on the chat window let me take it okay now next question is okay um, coming from Bhupati end of the course will you provide any PDF sir there are some material which I will send it but uh, okay only after the end of the course okay what is the full meaning of MT FT ST FT is functional testing M MT is manual tester king and ST is software test engineer it is not popularly used you know just that I'm lazy enough to type I have I have you know abbreviated it that way okay but uh, not not predominantly used in the software industry okay so I'm lazy enough to type the functional tester I've just typed FT so I hope I've answered that Nelson okay I don't have a laptop desktop I cannot do much about it Jan purchase it okay but there will not be any problem but you have to practice it you need a laptop okay but not mandatory Jan okay Kumar sir end of the course will you provide again Bhupati I've said you know there are some good material which I will send it across okay is there any opportunities for marine testing for diploma holder a lot of people are getting Renuka so complete this course uh, some small companies might hire you okay there are small small companies who are looking for people they, there you might have a chance okay is there any tools for uh, software testers yes Jira is there which is covered as a part of the course I'll cover that okay now Snehal is asking the questions can you tell me the difference between ETL API and security testing okay so um, actually you know Snehal you know you can ask these questions after the whole course is done okay people get the uh, uh, totally overwhelmed when they start hearing okay so um, API is nothing but web services yeah it is popular right now a lot of 
people are getting the jobs. Manual testing plus API testing is good. Snehal. ETL is extraction, transformation, and loading. ETL tools, a lot of ETL tools. Popular is Informatica. Again, you know, manual testing plus ETL testing is very, very good. Selenium is an automation testing tool. You need to know a very good knowledge of Java. Very good knowledge of coding is required. Again, manual testing plus Selenium testing is very good in the market. Okay, so which one you have to go? Um, right now, if it depends, Nehal. So if you're good with coding, go with Selenium. If you're not good with coding, go with API testing. API testing is just like manual testing, very, very easy and hot in the market. ETL testing, it is little tricky. If you can handle little bit of Unix and SQL, then you go for ETL testing. Okay, so Snehal, I hope I have answered all those questions. Um, Ashwin, Ashwini has asked this question, will this crash course suffice manual testing knowledge? Absolutely yes. Okay, so sir, you, ha you have to say both manual and automation testing. Vishnu, in the market, manual testing also there are jobs, but there are a lot of jobs if it is a combination of manual and automation or manual plus APM, API, okay, or manual plus ETL testing. Okay, again, I'm repeating just manual testing itself has jobs, but there are a lot of jobs if it's manual plus automation testing, which is Selenium or manual plus ETL testing or manual plus API testing. Okay, now Mahindra, uh, do you cover uh, API testing? Not as a part of it. Next batch, maybe I'll try to add a little bit of API testing as well. Or this batch, if all the people are showing a lot of interest, motivating me, then I will add extra five to 10 sessions on the API. Uh, but the people are, you know, randomly joining, they're not asking many questions, then I'll probably might not add. Okay, RPA comes under automation testing. Yes, okay, yes. Okay, what do you mean by Unix and SQL? James, you have to do it uh, online. Okay, so Unix is an operating system. SQL is the query language. Okay, we'll come to that later. You know, we are just at the budding stage, James. Let's not get into that. So first, let's cover the manual. Please mute yourself. If you have a question, you can ask. Yeah, somebody is asking a question. Please ask. Somebody is asking a question. Okay. So King Nelson, this is not neither a C or Java class. I'll 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 not try to answer that question. Okay. Uh, okay. There's a lot of questions coming in. Okay. Uh, okay. I've answered a lot of questions that I know of. Okay. Now let me continue. Okay. Because I cannot keep answering some questions which are not related to what I have asked. Okay. So I'll ignore that. Okay. ETL testing with Unix and SQL are covered. No. No. Poover. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm not able to uh, spell your name. Okay, so oh, Poover Gavan, Pu uh, no, it is not covered as a part of the course. Okay, so Shweta is saying, please add API testing. Let's look into it. This itself will take one month. If you have enough motivation, I'll add Shweta. Okay, now let's let's start jump into it, right? Okay, so we have done enough stuff now. Okay, let's start jumping to it. Okay, let's start the class. Okay, first thing you have to understand is project and a product. Okay, so um, surprisingly, not so surprisingly, these days a uh, lot of people are knowing what is a project and a, what is a product. Okay, even though they ha don't have anything to do with IT. Okay, so um, my cousin's wife, okay, so my cousin's wife, she's totally non IT okay she doesn't know ABCD of IT but her son okay her son has completed BTEC okay uh, now uh, I went to her house and then she started uh, Mr. Kumar what do you think my son should join you know he, he uh, should he join a project based company or a product based company then suddenly I was like you're not even studied and then how come you know these terms? I was so worried. Then she was laughing and she was so happy that, you know, she took it as a compliment and says that, okay, uh, no, 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 I'm doing a lot of research, you know, now have to give a very good career to my son. So I've done a lot of research and she figured it out. So then I started understanding oh, that a lot of non-IT people, they, they know a lot of stuff, okay? They, they don't have any intention of getting into IT, but they know a lot of stuff. Anyways, now what is a product? I'll give you some example. Okay, then I'll try to give you an exact, you know, the definition of or meaning of it. Okay, a product. Okay, let's go with a product first. Okay, product. Okay, um, Microsoft Office. Okay, it's a product. Okay, it's a product. Okay, so tell me Microsoft Office. Okay, is it created this particular software called Microsoft Office? Is it created 
for one person or one company okay microsoft microsoft is owns that microsoft office so microsoft company okay so microsoft company has created it so is microsoft created this product for one person okay so let's say the person is shweta so so microsoft has created this product called ms office so is it created for one person called shweta or it is created for one company called let's say infosys okay so so Microsoft Office has created this product only for one person or one company. Okay, I'm answering this. I'm asking this question, guys. Did it created only for one person or maybe let's say for one company called Infosys or one person called Shweta? Can somebody answer this? No. No, absolutely not. Yeah, no, this sir. is what I look for. Yeah. I want everybody to participate. This is what I want, guys. Okay, wonderful. So it is not created for one person or for one company. It is not created that, oh, Infosys wants Microsoft Office for all these companies, so let me create it. No, that's not what is happening. Wipro wants for all these companies. No, it says that I have created this product. Okay, whoever in the world wants to use it, they can use it. But they will have to purchase, obviously, but they can use it okay so this is what is a product guys okay this is what is a product okay so uh, let me let me put it in a formal definition okay look into it you know i will share this document whatever i'm typing then you can save it in your whatever okay product is something okay product is something okay that is developed i i hope you understand by the word develop Okay, please ignore the spelling mistakes guys. When I'm typing fastly, the spelling mistakes happens. Please ignore it. Okay, the idea here is to not make, not making sure that, okay, you know, there is no spelling mistakes and all that. Uh, no, the idea is that whatever the subject I am giving it to you, it is going into your brains. Okay, that is the whole idea. Please ignore the spelling mistakes. I'm very, very bad at spelling, mis spell you know, the spellings. And from, from my childhood, I've been like that. Now that cannot be fixed. Unfortunately, you have to live with that, guys. So please ignore it. Okay. So now product is something that is developed based on company's specifications. Okay. Specifications. Okay. Specifications. Okay. And, and, okay. And can be used by, can be used by multiple users or single user. Okay. Tell me, okay? It can be used multiple. by multiple users or single user or one user. Multiple. Multiple, okay? So multiple. Can I say customers? Because those products are usually sold, okay? It is not given for free. So I can say customers instead of saying users. But if you wanted to say the word users also, I'm fine, okay? So now you see Microsoft Office is a product, okay? It is developed by what? Developed by which company specification? Microsoft company specification okay so this MS office okay is created or developed or manufactured manufactured is the wrong word but there are some people who might be totally layman and they don't understand the word developed so I'm using the word manufactured or created uh, but actually you have to use the word developed okay so uh, so this MS office based on the specifications of the Microsoft based on the specifications of this company this product is created not by the specifications of infosys not by the specification of maybe shweta or teja or koteshwari so not by the, these people didn't say that oh microsoft please create a word document no infosys doesn't come and says that oh microsoft please create a word document in this word document okay in this word document okay please put an option called okay please put an option called Okay, uh, so let's say file. Please put an option called home. Please put an option called insert. Please put an option called design. These are all the specifications. What are these? These are all the specifications. Please create this ribbon. This is called ribbon, right? Please create this ribbon. So these are all the specifications. So, um, you know, uh, individual people like Teja Koteshwari, they will not go and tell that, you know, Microsoft that uh, with these specifications create it. No. Microsoft itself will create the call and say that, okay, based, these are my specifications, based on the specifications, I'll create my product. Based on the specifications, I'll create my product, okay? And, and then what is the whole purpose of creating this product, guys? So that it can be used by multiple customer. Customer can be somebody like, 
somebody like koteshwari or somebody like infosys okay so customer can be somebody like infosys where infosys and going to microsoft and purchasing but infosys will not purchase one license it will purchase for multiple users or maybe for somebody like teja okay so who will purchase it for one person for themselves okay every for microsoft these are all customers only okay but some customers they will purchase like 100 seats or 200 licenses or 500 licenses some of them will purchase only one license okay so any questions so far guys any questions so far okay no wonderful no super super yeah. is it okay the space is okay with all of you everybody is able to understand it well or are, are yeah. you got overwhelmed or you know worried or you know saying that oh my god i am hearing these words uh, you know first time and i am overwhelmed i am not able to... again i am saying if you are hearing the words for the very first time stop it and ask me because i am there in the it field for 15 years and i assume that you know you know the stuff okay you know certain stuff okay yeah somebody has asked me a question please go ahead and repeat that question please can you please it, zoom out this notepad it a little bit uh, minimum zoom uh, let me figure out how to okay i'll i'll try to zoom it from here okay this is good this is good yes <laughs> so somebody is asking what is my salary yes you call me guys i'll tell you what is my salary <laughs> okay so people are getting oh, you know really really enthusiastic now okay so wonderful okay i i'm not going to reveal my salary in front of 100 people guys definitely not okay but what is the 15 years guy can get in the market right now okay so depending upon which field you will select maybe from 15 lakhs to 30 lakhs okay in it i've seen some people earning 40 lakhs as well okay if you have a 15 years of experience okay or maybe more okay again if somebody from us or elsewhere joining you don't understand this language okay this is an inr somebody is not in india and joining the class can you please raise your hands or unmute yourself somebody is not in india and then joining the class yeah because you yes kumar i am also from us us but again you understand this terminology called lakhs right yes 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 <laughs> somebody who's not understanding you know you can okay and king nelson is says he is from uk uh, but i think you know this is some indian currency guys you know it's an indian uh, you know uh, calculations thing you can ignore okay so almost all the indians will understand this anyways okay <clears throat> so nikhil who developed the product you know developers usually develop the product okay so if you are asking but if you are thinking like asking like an interview question i'll get to that but generally the developers will develop okay we'll get to that when we discuss something called sdlc software development life cycle i'll not only cover that question but there are so many other questions that i will cover okay but again i am asking you if somebody is not comfortable with the pace please let me know okay but are you absolutely clear what is the product now now go to meeting which with which you guys have joined okay please tell me is this a product uh i i haven't explained what is a project but this is a product okay an exa and another example of product is the go to meet meeting with which you guys have joined it's a product they with this company's uh, specifications the product is developed and hundreds of customers like me will purchase this product okay so go to meeting is an other example of a uh, product based okay now let me go to a project okay let me go to a project okay now now listen to be very carefully guys icici okay icici okay so now this company this company might have it field might not have it guys okay let's assume they don't have it guys they don't have it guys in the organization they don't have it guys okay okay they don't have the it guys so what this guys icici will get will say that okay let me approach somebody who is good with it so they what they will do they will approach companies like infosys okay so i'll use the word infosys all the time because i have certain connection with infosys so i don't have any special interest but i have certain connections so always use the word uh, infosys guys 
okay so let's say then they say that oh infosys is very good with uh, you know all these it so let me approach I, uh, infosys then what they will do the icsa somebody from icsa will talk to uh, infosys and then what infosys will do oh you want all this okay you want an online banking application online banking application okay let me create this application for you okay what the infosys guys will say will say let me create this application for you okay and then uh, you can start using it you can start using it you can start using it okay then this is what is a project this is what is a project okay again i'm saying you the infosys has developed this product called icica online banking application for only icica not for westpac not for axis bank not for hdfc not for any other bank again i'm repeating guys infosys has developed this 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 software okay this software or this application called icica online banking application and this is only for the use of icica not for anybody else this is only for the use of icica not for anybody else okay so this is for a particular customer okay this is for a particular customer are you getting it okay this is for a particular customer okay this is for a particular customer and who gives the requirement here who gives the requirement or who gives the specification who gives the specification to infosys the customer is using that icica will say you know icica is giving the money to infosys okay they're saying that okay you are developing this project let me give 1 crore rupees to you but develop this project since icica is giving the money to infosys icic will say the specifications with these specifications i want it my software to be created okay what does the specifications looks like okay let's look at it icic net banking okay they say that as soon as okay person opens the home page okay then there should be some page some some advertisement should show up here where every day i should be able to change this advertisement and here it should always show the logo these are the specifications of icis there should be four tabs called personal nri business and when we when i try to log in you know it should show all these options and once a person clicks on the personal login it should show the username password like this hundreds of specifications will be provided by icica to infosys to infosys based on this customer specifications icica will create the product sorry infosys will create the product for icica and this is for the use of icica icica can use it for only for its customers what icica will do it will make it available only for its customers but infosys cannot say that however i have developed an online banking application now let me give it to axis as well let me give it to hdfc as well let me give it to bank of america as well no that's not what infosys cannot do that okay this is created only for one customer called icica based on his specifications and even if he wants to give which is not it cannot be given if you open the axis bank his specifications is completely different his specifications are completely different okay so in icica his specifications are completely different axis bank you see it is directly going to the login page his specifications are completely different so definitely he cannot whatever the product which is created for one bank cannot be created for given for other banks obviously but even if it can be given their, their infosys cannot you know break those co code of conduct and cannot be given to other okay simple project is what it is it is it is done for um, one particular customer based on the specifications of okay based on the specifications of icsa based on the specifications of icsa so let's formally define it again please write down these definitions or i will share this document with you so these definitions are very very important for your future reference okay so what is a project okay project is something project is something that is developed okay again developed means manufactured created but we cannot use those words so i'm using the word develop okay based on particular customer requirement okay so here who is the customer in the example that i have given who is the customer guys who is the customer 
Wonderful guys, wonderful. Okay, I want everybody to answer guys. You know, that's where I get the energy from. That's I, that's when, you know, uh, we can say that. Okay, so based on the customer requirement and for his usage only. Okay, for his usage only. Okay, now the customer is for whom? For Infosys. Okay, Infosys is the customer. Okay, now... <coughs> Uh, somebody has asked a wonderful question. Can we call this as a client in the in the life? Okay, so whoever asked this question, okay, so uh, who has asked this question? Um, somebody has asked the question. Can I? Can I? Okay. Can I? Can I call? Okay, Nikhil. Can I call ICICI as a client? Okay. So Nikhil, Nikhil, uh, can you unmute yourself? Nikhil, can you unmute yourself? Is it? Is there? Is there a, a possibility to unmute yourself, Nikhil? Nikhil, can you unmute yourself? Okay, you have asked the question. Can can we call ICICI as a client? Can somebody answer this question? Is it, can we call it as a client? Okay. Whoever yes. gives the money, they are client in the world, guys. Okay. Whoever okay. is yes, giving sir. you. Okay. Here, mm -hmm. look from this perspective, from 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 Infosys. Pers I mean, in general perspective, definition purpose perspective. I've call it as a customer but for for this infosys guy for this infosys let's say nikhil or nikhil is working for infosys and for nikhil icici is the client whoever is giving you the money that is the client guys okay life is very very simple okay let's say this is not a free session this is a paid session for me all of you are clients because you are paying the money to me okay you are paying the money to me Okay, whoever is paying the money, he's called the client. It's, sim it's simple. Okay, that is what it is. So for Infosys, yeah, ICIC is a client. When I say Infosys, Infosys, there are thousands of people working. For all those thousands of people, yes, ICICI is the client. ICICI is the client or even in the world, whatever the business you are doing, any business, if somebody is giving you the mind, money, they are the client. Let's say you are you're, <clears throat> you're running a restaurant, okay? So you're running a restaurant again. Please ignore the spelling mistakes. You are running a customer. Um, then somebody is paying the money. They will become your clients. I'm telling you guys. Okay. So they become whoever is paying the money to you. It's as simple as that. Okay. They are the clients. Okay. Wonderful. So any questions so far, guys? Any questions? Any questions? Again, I will share this document with you and this kind of definitions, please note it down, okay? These definitions, maybe you can write down somewhere, note it down, I don't know where you want it to do, whatever, but you know, note down, you know, it is very useful, okay? Yeah, I'm assuming that you don't have questions, let me move forward. Let me define what is quality first, okay? what is quality first let me define what is quality first slowly i will come to what is the definition for software testing let's not get overwhelmed um, and again sometimes the class might extend beyond one hour so you know please plan your calendar in such a way that okay even if it extends by 15 to 20 minutes you know please try to stay yes the videos are recorded the sessions is recorded but don't rely on the videos because sometimes there will be technical issues and it may not be shown okay yes quality <clears throat> okay so let me give you the definition of it quality is defined okay as justification of all the requirements okay justification of all the requirements of the customer okay okay of the customer in a product okay so let's try to understand sir kumar sir what is this is very difficult to understand you know you have given some definition uh, you know i'm able to understand a little bit but not you know not able to understand much okay let me take an example brother okay now okay so now i'll ask you a question i'll give you a scenario and ask you a question okay so let me take a name from the class okay so uh, somebody who is active uh, somebody who is active who is there in the class who has been speaking okay um, uh, hanoni or Roland. Yeah, okay. so what is your name please your name yeah hanoni 
Hanoni, Hanoni, okay? Yeah. Hanoni, okay? So, Mr. Hanoni, okay? Again, yes, uh, yes. don't please get offended. I'm using your name and then taking some examples, no. but nothing personal, okay? Just for the name okay, okay. sake, I'm using it, okay? So, Mr. Hanoni, okay, got hired into Levi's. Everybody understands this company's right, Lee Levi's, okay? They are, they are jeans, okay? They manufacture jeans, okay? They manufacture jeans, okay? Now, where is Hanoni working? He is working in the quality department of Lee Levi's, okay? This is not high, this is hired, this is hired, okay? So, he is working in the quality department of which company of Lee, Lee or Levi's. If you haven't heard the word Levi's, let's use the word Lee, okay? Or let's use the company Lee. So, he got hired into the, okay, quality department. Now, a, 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 you know, some jeans, whatever you call it, you know, uh, a whole lot of jeans came to him, okay, a lot, they use the word called lot, okay, lot is like, you know, uh, 100 or 200 uh, jeans, they put together and they make it as a lot. A lot of jeans, okay, a lot, okay, uh, jeans lot, okay, came to Hanoni, okay, came to Hanoni and he needs to do the quality check on that, okay, he needs to do the quality check on that, okay. Hanoni is a, he thinks that he knows everything about jeans, okay, and he started doing the quality check, started doing the quality check on the jeans, quality check on the jeans, okay. In the lot, usually there will be 300, 400 jeans, he will not pick up open every single jeans, what he will do Hanoni, he will check one jeans and he will do the quality check on that, if it is passed, obviously all the 100 will be passed, generally that's how it will be, okay. He opened that one jeans and he started seeing some holes okay on the jeans okay so what do you call these holes guys can somebody uh, tell me you know uh, they are called uh, rugged jeans uh, what is that holes called okay. so, torn jeans torn jeans okay torn jeans okay. torn jeans okay so it is totally torn okay so there is torn jeans okay so i think it could be torn torn is like you know it is torn okay i think it's not torn anyways it's a torn jeans Hanoni being Hanoni, we might not know that, you know, there will be a torn jeans also. He, somehow, I know Hanoni is a very, he understands the fashion and everything. But let's assume Hanoni doesn't understand the today's fashion. Okay, then immediately he saw the holes and then he kept the jeans aside and say that this lot is completely, uh, you know, is not quality. Okay, this lot of, okay, this lot of jeans, okay, is, is not good okay or quality is not good so now tell me okay is anoni doing the right quality check can somebody answer no is is he doing it right whatever no. anoni is doing no? no 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 wonderful wonderful okay so now what should anoni okay anoni what should anoni do before doing the quality check what he should and what he should do or what he should uh, yeah what he should understand or what he should do before he start you know doing the quality check check the specification wonderful he okay the requirement so, requirement okay so what he has to do first you know, before, you know there is some uh, my voice is repeated to myself okay Please mute yourself, guys, once you have answered. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. So, what Hanuni should do? First, he needs to, there should be some sort of document, okay, which we call it as a requirement document or a specification document, okay, a specification document, okay, specification document, okay. There will be some document, some specification, some requirement, something will be there saying that, Okay, the jeans has to be 34 in size, the length has to be 56 in size and there will be some holes at the at the knee area and the hole has to be like this, the, the size of the hole has to be blah 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 and you know whatever it is, the color of the jeans has to be blue and uh, the zip quality has to be blah 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 and blah blah blah, whatever it is, there should be some document. Hanuni has to read that document first, needs to understand that requirement document then he has to start doing the quality check. Then he has to start doing the quality check. Do you agree with me, guys, all of you? 
Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, now you understand the definition of this one. Everybody, quality is defined as doing the justification of all the requirements of the customer. Yes. Yes. Are you absolutely clear with that? It is not what you think yes, is the quality. Okay. So I know everything. I think this is the quality. No. that is not the quality what is there in the requirement you need to understand that requirement as per the requirement you have to do the quality that is what is the quality not what i think not what people think no what what is there as per the requirements you understand that you do your quality <coughs> check accordingly then you are doing the full justification to it and then you are living up to this definition called quality is defined as a justification of all the requirements which is given to us by the client okay or which is given to us by the client or yeah whatever it is customer okay are we absolutely clear with the definition of quality guys can i move forward now without yes, this there is no uh, point going forward in the class yes sir okay super yes, super there are a lot of questions coming in but i'll take that because i want to complete this okay now now okay let me add a small change here okay so what is as per this definition requirement document there should be holes okay or it should be toned okay t o r n e d right toned okay yes now hanoni okay what hanoni has done hanoni has opened this jeans suddenly there are no holes there are no holes in that there are no holes okay on the on the jeans now what do you call this product as what do you call this product as defective wonderful jay krishna this is called a defective product okay why why because there are defects there are defects okay in this in this product okay in this product everybody agree agree with this one okay there are defects in the product that's why we call it as defective okay now let's try to okay understand what is this defect okay whenever 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 your product is not as per the as per the requirement okay or specifications but specifications is used for something like jeans but in software we use the word requirement so let me stop let me not use the word specification anymore so that you understand i am using the word specification but let me start using the word requirement whenever okay your product whenever your product is not as per the requirement okay requirement who gives the requirement your client gives the requirement okay so it is not as per the requirement then then okay then then it is called defect okay defect then it is called defect are we clear with this guys are we clear this this one is called defect okay or yes. or or let me let me okay put it in a formal definition in a formal definition defect is defined as okay deviation from the requirement deviation from the requirement okay deviation from the requirement okay everybody clear guys all of you okay this is what is the defect okay defect now now okay in the interview if somebody has asked you a question defect okay you mug it up and you're saying that defect okay mr uh, let's say mr kumar hang on guys hang on guys okay so i am the interviewer okay i am the interviewer and let's say okay who is active j j krishna is active so microsoft account whoever is the microsoft account you are very active but i am not able to see your name sorry i cannot take your name okay so uh, mr j krishna came to the interview i am the interviewer and i asked the question to j krishna what is the defect now defect you know uh, i'll give you two case case 1 and case 2 you tell me like which case is better okay case 1 and case 2 okay now mr kumar has asked this question to jay krishna what is the question what is the defect case 1 case 1 don't answer the question yet okay what is case 1 abhishek has answered this oh jay krishna has answered the question answered this question like this defect uh, defect is uh, defined as a deviation from the requirement or he is answering like that defect is defined as deviation from the requirement this is the case 1 this is the case 1 now case 2 okay now same jay krishna has answered this uh, c kumar 
okay in the, my latest project was an online banking application okay so in this online banking application we are doing a balance transfer we are you know we are testing a product called balance transfer i am doing the balance transfer so while i am doing the balance transfer so uh, the money that i have did okay the balance transfer was for 1.1 rupee okay 1.1 rupees or 10 rupees okay 10 rupees 10 10 rupees 25 paisa okay 10 rupees 25 paisa is the balance transfer i have done balance transfer i have done okay but the money actually got transferred was 11 rupees so this is not as per the requirement hence you know this is what is the defect okay this is what our jay krishna has answered in the case two in the case two now you tell me case one is how will kumar be impressed with case one answer or case two answer please tell me case well, two. I, I want to case, case two, two sir okay so you never you should answer in a way that you know he understands that you mugged it up you always should be you know related to a project and say that okay this is what i have done and this is what is the deviation from requirement and this is why we, it's called a defect that's how you will answer but these kind of things will not happen uh, probably what would be a meaningful defect will be okay so <clears throat> uh, what i would say is yeah um, let me let me give you a meaningful example in a banking transfer or a, a defect okay so um you're doing the balance transfer okay so there are multiple accounts okay multiple accounts for j krishna or for let's say there are multiple accounts do you know in an you can have multiple accounts with the bank okay so let's say there are multiple accounts for monica monica is a rich girl okay she has two accounts with icici so multiple accounts with uh, multiple accounts to uh, monica so account one is there and account two is there okay so we did the money transfer from first account but the money is getting transferred from the second account so these two accounts are for monica only because monica is a rich person okay now as a part of the testing you're you're transferring the money from account one but what is actually happening the money is getting transferred from account two these are meaningful defects okay whatever the first uh, defect that i have given that usually doesn't happen okay exact money will be uh, transferred so even if you talk about it they will not believe but this is more meaningful defect okay so one one customer okay one bank customer has two accounts account one account two okay you did the money transfer from account one but account money is getting transferred from account two so this is definitely a defect if the money is getting transferred from account one it has to be money get money needs to be uh, money needs to be deducted from account one and then moved into the, the the wherever the customer is okay so but if it is happening from account two then definitely it is a defect okay <clears throat> are you are you okay with it guys now you slowly understand we'll understand this defect much more in detail but at least did you understand what is the defect now little bit all of you yes yes, yes. yes sir. Okay. sir and also like how a realistic defects look like in a in a banking application okay and also how you should answer in the interviews yeah so wonderful wonderful okay are there other names for defects any other names for defects any other names did you heard any of your brother sister who are in it field okay then mugs, mugs errors wonderful wonderful okay so bugs error defect okay so errors may be you know it is questionable i'll talk about the errors later okay what is the difference between a bug and an error also i'll talk about it yeah somebody is saying failure as well somebody is saying errors wonderful guys these are all all you know relevant but you know there is a direct uh, what do you say like you know um, you can use these words uh, interchangeably defects and bugs but you cannot use these words interchangeably you cannot say failures for defects you cannot change you cannot say errors for defects okay why I'll talk about it later. What is the difference between a failure, error, and defect? I'll definitely cover that, but not for today. But uh, yes, there is another name for defect. Typically, we call it as a bug. We call it as a bug. Okay. What is why, sir? Why some people call it as a defect? Why some people call it as a bug? Okay. So, defect is professionally saying it. Bug is not so professionally. Um, 
it is it is it is understood you know somebody calling it as a bug okay it is understood by defect it is not an official language of calling um, people inside the company yes they, they they use the words bugs okay if you are going and talking to a person on your individual capacity let's say renuka is my uh, colleague okay if i am going to talk going to renuka and saying that oh renuka today i found a bug i can say that but there is a meeting okay in the meeting let's say in the meeting let's say there are 10 people okay there you cannot say that hey guys i found a bug no, you cannot say that. You say that, okay, today I've done the testing and there are uh, three defects I've identified. So I'll tell you that, you know, what are these three defects? Okay, defect one, this is what it is. Defect two, this is what it is. Defect three, okay? So when there are some meetings, you know, it is a professional meetings, then you start using the word defect. But, you know, it is not so professional. It's not a meeting you're talking, uh, you know, to your friend or, you know, individual capacity, not so professionally. Then you can say that, yeah, you know, I found a bug. But if it's a meeting, then you say that, okay, you don't use the word bug because, you know, it's not so professional. Okay. We will call it IT only defect and bug. Yes, Vishnu, that's what I'm telling you. Yes, failures and errors also we will be using, but it is used for different purposes. Different purposes. I'll talk about that later. Okay, I'll talk about that later. What is the difference between an error, failure, and a defect? I'll, but not for today. Uh, let me not, you know, uh, uh, mix it, mix it up. Okay. So, guys, uh, I actually wanted to cover a whole lot today, and with that intention, I came to the class. Okay. So, can we continue this class because the one hour is done, or uh, maybe for a half an hour more, or should we wind it up? Can we continue? Yes, okay. continue. Yes, sir. continue, sir. Okay. Case one. Okay, continue. continue. Whoever is using the option one, it is continue. Okay, option two is let's stop it today. Continue from tomorrow. Okay, uh, one or two. I just don't want it to hear everything. One or two. Yes, sir, continue. Uh, everybody, I want to yeah. hear from one zero five. Continue, one sir. Person says, continue, sir. Continue, continue, sir. Continue, sir. Continue, sir. You can continue. I, 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 I love the interest guys let's rock and roll okay let's go ahead okay so now this is we are talking about quality so whatever the definition I have given this is little old version of quality then you see this is not the latest version okay what is this is little old okay quality is defined as the justification of the requirements provided by the client what is the latest definition what is the latest definition for quality okay what is the latest definition for quality? Let's see. Okay. Quality, quality is not only, not only, not only justification of customer requirements, customer requirements, not just, not just the justification of requirements. We know that it is the justification. So obviously, but, but also, but, but, but also the presence of value. Okay, but also, but also, okay, but also presence of value. When you say presence of value, what we are talking about? User friendliness. Okay, friendly. Uh, please ignore the spelling mistakes, guys. So I'm really, really bad with spellings. Okay, so I don't even know if this spelling is correct or not. So you it is the user friendliness. You know, it has to be user friendly. Then only, you know, you can use it. So Kumar sir, you know, I understood what is customer just requirement. Give me an example for user friendliness. Give me an example for user friendliness. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, generally register regist any time did you register with any website? Did you do any registrations with any website? Yes. 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 Yes, okay. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. So while you are entering, okay, Shadi Dr. Manaj. So Manaj, uh, I hope you get married quickly or maybe you can find a girl in this class only. I wish your marriage happens quickly. Okay. For, learn the class well, get the IT job and then you you get married okay i uh, my blessings are with you manoj okay wonderful um so shadi.com only let's say shadi.com only okay so i never registered or done it long time back so yes forget about i mean shadi in the shadi.com 
let's say there is a field called age now manoj will say what is let's say sir definitely that is there for shadi age is most important yes i agree so there is a field called age and let's suppose just for just for suppose shadi.com is only for the age of 20 to 30 people 20 to 30 years okay 20 to 30 years or let's say 20 to 40 years i know it is for anybody can you know do it okay so but or or let's say in in india the legal marriage is 18 years okay so definitely okay you have to enter an age which is more than 18 years okay now now um manoj only okay manoj only sorry manoj if you don't if you get offended i'm using your name so manoj only accidentally he entered this age immediately on the right hand corner it will show that age is between 18 to 60 years okay he didn't even completed the whole form okay he is filling the whole registration form he filled his name first name last name his gotras his uh, his uh, salary and all that okay and then this age column came he entered 14 suddenly in the red color in the red color okay there is this message which shows that minimum age minimum age should be 18 years okay this message came in the red color this is user friendliness guys it is making your life easy earlier what it was you enter the whole fields once you click on the register button then it will tell you boss you know there is this issue you have to go fix it now what is happening with all these fancy things uh, it, it, it's so much of user friendliness that as soon as you enter something wrong immediately on the red on somewhere it will show you okay for example manoj is using some you know he's is creating the registration and is given something called username okay what he has given manoj okay manoj kumar okay at the rate okay at the rate 2022 he has given that username and he has entered and try to give go to the next uh, next field and trying to enter the password immediately it will show up here what it will show up okay this user name this username is taken by uh, is in use or taken by someone please try another username did you see this guys did you see this error anytime okay the yeah, error name may not be the same but you know something like that okay this is all user friendliness password he has given very weak password 2022 immediately it says weak password weak password it will also show the strength of the password as well there is a bar that comes and it will show the strength of the password as well okay so this is all user friendliness guys this is all user friendliness okay now this is what it is so quality as a as a quality check you not only making sure that your customer requirements are met but also the user friendliness is there or not you are checking and that's what is the quality and that's what is the quality are you absolutely clear with the quality guys now the definition of quality yes sir. yes sir yes sir okay wonderful wonderful okay so now now okay um, a lot of people are leaving guys i'm not happy okay so we will i mean i wish i wanted to continue to be honest okay but people are leaving they they can voice it out i'm not sure why they are not voicing their uh, this thing okay so uh, 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 I know all of you people, you know, uh, are, are, are very, very excited to go ahead. Let me try for 10 more minutes and if the people are leaving, I'll stop it. Okay, let me try one 10 more minutes and people are leaving, I'll stop it. Okay, so I wanted to continue, okay. but uh, people are leaving. But let me see, let me continue for 10 more minutes and if people are leaving, I'll stop it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me give you the definition of it, okay? And then let me try to explain this. Testing is a process, okay, in which the defects are identified, okay? Identified. You are not able to see the screen, guys. Snehal is not able to see the screen. Are you not able to see the screen, guys, all of you? We can screen see. Screen is visible. Oh, we, are we are able to see. Visible. We are able to see. Okay. 
okay people are leaving let me see for a few more minutes okay this is a very very important definition guys what is this software testing what is this software testing i use this 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 thing for software guys okay please get used to it okay so what is software testing what is software testing okay what is software testing software testing is a process in which defects are identified okay rectified okay you understand by the word rectified okay yes sir solved 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 okay let me put in the bracket solved okay identified or solved okay and and make sure that your product is okay defect free okay your product okay is defect free okay and why we are doing this okay okay why we are doing this why we are making sure okay why we are doing this in order in Good order quality wonderful quality. Wonderful. wonderful in order uh, in order to give in order quality. to give a give a quality product okay in order to give a product product or product service okay product quality yes, or yes, product yes. service yeah. okay so kumar sir this is little difficult to understand you are talking about this not able to see your screen why manikandan why you are not able to a lot of people are manikandan you try to connect from mobile as well and see if you are able to see the screen okay everybody is able to see the screen okay <clears throat> now what is this software testing guys okay first the whole idea okay now our snehal okay has become a software or snehal okay has become a software tester what she will go okay she got a job in uh, infosys okay or our manoj okay manoj is going to Mano, manoj he got a job into he got a job into infosys okay so he he dressed up very well he put the tie and all that his wife has cooked nice food put it in the carriage gave it to him he went for the job okay first day in the job so what is he supposed to do uh, and he got the job as a what software tester how after taking this okay now what is his whole idea of doing this software tester what manoj will do he will take the products he will take the softwares okay and then start identifying the defects what he will be doing identifying the defects day in day effect day in day out every day what he has to do he has to identify the defects not not uh, uh, in the product in the product okay what he has to do he has to identify the defect and then what happens once manoj identifies the defect okay he will be sending this to sending this to what he will be doing he will be sending this defect okay this defect to he will be sending this defect to okay he will be sending this defect to okay to the developer what he will be doing he will be sending the defect to the developer again kumar sir i never heard the word called developer don't worry okay listen to tomorrow's class i will i will tell what this developer why he is there and all that okay he will be sending to the developer what developer will do okay developer he you know he he will either accept or reject the defect but i'll talk about that when i go to defect life cycle but we will talk in the simple levens language now developer will fix the defect okay fix the defect everybody understands by the word fix everybody understands by the word fix yes yes, yes. yes. rectify the defect okay rectify the defect and once he has rectify the defect once he has rectify the defect our manoj will say okay developer let's say Uh, our developer okay so manoj is the tester and developer let's say our developer is what um, mahendra is the developer okay radhika reddy is the developer okay so our radhika reddy is a developer okay so now manoj will say oh manoj says i know radhika reddy from childhood i trust if she says that she has rectified the defect she has rectified the defect now i will assume that assume that defect is fixed why manoj is assuming that the defect is fixed okay or defect is rectified because because he knows radhika reddy for very long time and he thinks that radhika reddy is a wonderful developer whatever the work she does she does it in an amazing way is what manoj thinks and he assumes that the defect is fixed and he goes to this higher management and says that uh, you know sir 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 uh, this defect is fixed so this is case 1 this is case 1 okay now case 2 case 2 okay 
Manoj says that no, no, no. I am recently married. My job is very, very important to me. I will not trust anybody. I will retest it. I will see it with my own eyes. See it with my own eyes. And if I am satisfied, then I will say that I will close. This defect is closed. Which one Manoj will do? Which one? Which one Manoj will do? Case two or case one? Please tell me. Case two. Case two. Case two only, no? Case because how case much ever two. you have confidence on developer, you will case never one. have to trust them. Okay, you just have to test it yourself because because you are responsible. When I said you, software tester. Okay, software tester is responsible for the quality. Responsible for the quality of the product quality of the product okay if the quality is in bad okay if the quality is bad nobody will go to radhika reddy and say that why there is an issue okay everybody will come to manoj and say that we are giving you so much money why there is an issue okay so you have to be 100% sure about it so you have to do the retesting okay so this is what happens so software testing is not only identifying the defect but making sure that the defects are rectified. Who is rectifying it? The developers is rectifying. Developers like Radhika Rekti will be rectifying it. And why this? Why you are doing the retesting it? You are making sure that the product is defect free. Why you want to make sure it is defect free? Because eventually what you need is a quality product. Eventually what you need is a quality product. Are you clear with this one, guys? Are you clear with this one, all of you? All yes. of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Super yes, sir. clear what happens. This is just a insight, guys. We will go dig deep into it and I'll talk about this defect life cycle. Okay, how the defect goes and all that. But this is not today is not the day for that. Okay, but later we will do that. But overall on a high level, this is what happens. Overall on the high level. But again, you know, here the developer Radhika Reddy can accept or reject the defect. They can say that Manoj has not done a good testing. This is not actually the defect. He has not understood the requirement properly and that's why he is saying as a defect. Radhika Reddy can also say that. Or Radhika Reddy can say that, okay, this looks like a valid defect. Let me accept it and then let me fix it and then, okay, uh, give it, uh, fix it and give it back to Manoj. And Manoj can do the retest and again he might say that, oh Radhika Reddy, you have done the testing. Wonderful, I'm closing the defect. Or he can say that, oh Radhika Reddy, there is a problem. You, you say that the, you have tested it, but looks like the problem is again there. Go ahead and retest it. I am not closing the defect. So like this, there are hundreds of scenarios will be there, which we will discuss in detail at the later classes. But again, those are all our interview questions. There's, there is something called defect life cycle. We will talk about that. But for now, okay, but for now, we will keep it simple so that this is the first class. Okay, it's the first class. Wonderful, guys. Okay, so <clears throat> now there is something called, okay, there is a question back which we will be maintaining, okay. Uh, what is this color? Uh, we will have the sticky notes. In the sticky notes, we will put all the questions. Okay, we'll put all the questions. So this question bank is what I'll call it. So there is one question which, okay, which we need to talk about, which is errors, okay, and defects, okay, and bugs. We will talk about these differences in a, in a very, very detailed manner when the point comes. But for now, we'll put that in the question bank. Okay, today is just a high level. We have covered certain things on the high level. Okay, so we will talk in, we'll talk about it later. But again, from the interview point of view, you need to clearly understand the difference between three of them so that you can confidently answer that in the interviews. Okay, wonderful guys. With this, we will wrap this up because the, the count came to 91 now. If I continue for like this, it will even come to 50. So I think we have consumed 50, 30 minutes more. But again, from tomorrow onwards, expect the class to go more than one hour and typically the class starts sharp please join the class five minutes before yes it will say that kumar gupta has not joined the class and uh, you know please wait for the organizer it will say that you have to wait for me okay wonderful so tomorrow wonderful things you know how how the bidding happens what is the kickoff meeting okay uh, how the project initiates okay and then we will get into sdlc lot of interesting things we will cover tomorrow guys tomorrow is a very 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 important thing for you please attend it again
whether you want to become an IT engineer or a software tester or not, it doesn't matter. If you want to become an IT engineer, this class, tomorrow's class is very, very important. You want to become a developer, you want to become an uh, API tester, you want to become a Selenium tester, you want to become uh, anything, business analyst, anything, tomorrow's class is very, very important. Okay, so please, please. And now is the time for questions, guys. Whoever have the questions, please post it in the chat window, which are generic, not related to the question. Any questions you ask, you know, I'm ready to answer one by one. Okay, one by one. Unmute yourself, ask the question, mute yourself. I'll try to answer for best of my abilities. And if somebody wants to know about myself, I have 15 years of industry experience, 15 years of IT industry experience. Okay, so I, I am the head of, okay, I am the head and proprietor or whatever you call of Isha Training Solutions. Okay, Isha Training Solutions. Okay, um, I have done my master's in US, okay, from University of Oklahoma, not a part-time degree, a full-time degree. I worked in US for 10 years, okay, and then worked in India for three years, okay, and then started this institute called Isha Training Solutions. Okay, I have close to 20 trainers who will be teaching different courses. Okay, so you can check this website called Isha Trainings. Again, I'm not marketing myself. I'm just telling about myself. Okay, don't think that I'm marketing. Okay, but this is just about myself. I'm the head of this institute called Isha Training Solutions. I'm just opening that website, guys. Okay, so I have close to um, 10 trainers. You can look at all these courses. So many courses are there. Most of the courses, the trainers are different from one course to other course. So we offer manual testing course as well as you can see here. So I have close to 10 to 20 trainers with me. Okay. And uh, my skill set is mainly manual testing. Okay. Manual testing and uh, N U A L U A L manual testing. Okay. Or uh, and then automation. Okay. Automation testing. Again, I'll talk about what is automation at later point of time and performance testing. Okay. Again, this class is not for performance testing. I, so I don't take any interest in what is perform. I'm not going to teach anything about performance testing in the class. Okay. So this is my profile guys. And uh, if you have any questions, tell me. Okay. So Radhika Reddy has posted a question. Okay. So Renuka, let's last from last to first. Renuka, is there a banking domain field in manual testing? Yes. There are multiple fields. There is, um, Financial uh, is what we call it as a banking domain. There is telecom, which is more like, you know, Airtel and all that. Uh, there is, uh, uh, what is the healthcare, more like, you know, USB, uh, USG and all that. And uh, there is uh, this retail. Retail is more like, you know, I, uh, uh, retail things like Amazon, Flipkart and all that. So, Renuka, this is all we have, okay? So, are we doing manual or automation both? In the class, it's only manual testing, guys. We offer automation as well, but it is a paid course, which you can enroll after this, only if you wish. I'm not selling that course, Khan, okay? Which certificate will be given? Abhishek, a course completion certificate will be given, okay? Abhishek, course completion certificate, okay? Completion certificate will be given, but again, you have attended one or two classes and expecting the course completion certificate. No, you attend all the co classes and there is a small exam at the end of the class. If you attend the class well, the, you can easily clear that exam. You clear the exam, you will be providing the course completion certificate. Can you use Azure DevOps be used manually? Yes, you can. Uh, testing can be done for that, but this class is not that. What is the price of automation testing? I'll send you the link over the here, uh, okay, uh, Snehal. Um, automation course right hang on one second other uh, courses offer um, there is something called uh, other courses automation courses selenium with java okay so this course uh, snehal i'm putting it in the chat window okay at your piece you can go through that okay all classes is free abhishek you know i need to run this institute and i have to feed my family guys so i in this batch all the 20 classes are free okay but all the courses on my website are not free Okay, they are paid, but this manual course end to end is totally free of cost. Okay, there are close to one month of course, totally free of cost. Okay, are you providing placement of completing? Badrinath, I'm already giving this course for free of cost. Okay, don't expect that. If somebody is really brilliant and very, very good, then I'll try to find some jobs, but I cannot guarantee. Okay. Um, but yes, I have the tie-ups whenever there is some people call for it. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try to patch you guys and then help you with the resume preparation and send it, but no fake resumes, only genuine resumes are entertained, then try to put, put them over there. But yes, can we call that as a placement? No, companies come to me, ask for it, and I will provide the people. 
okay so we can help by sharing a requirement okay okay i didn't understood that reshma uh, rohit uh, are we completing this course can we crack 3 to 4 years level of interview reshma uh, uh, rohit is asking that question um, with little bit of practice little, little bit of uh, more research from the internet you can rohit uh, okay uh, do you help with the resumes nelson you know already the if 100 people come to me and asking me to do the resume preparation no but can i send the sample resumes to you yes um, maybe i can hire somebody with certain cost we can have them review and do it but if you are asking me i'm the head of the institute i am busy all the time very hard to pull one hour for this class but if you are asking me to uh, do the resume review very hard but i can give you the sample resumes maybe you know i can i can hire somebody and then i can pay some money for them so i can charge you and pay the and give the money to them or patch you them so that you guys can talk and then you know help can do the resume services but me reviewing all the 100 uh, resumes not possible okay if somebody is again really good active i go out of the way to help okay uh, we can help by sharing requirements with each other reshma wonderful the group is created for the same reason don't spam the group okay don't say that okay we are selling so and so and all that please don't spam this group but help each other with uh, sharing the jds requirements okay at what point we will be able to do the ist set after completing the course i will give you some material geeta you go through the material you can easily clear the is to be ist qb certification uh, if all the 100 people have attended all my classes maybe i will create a simple course of 5 year 5 hours to clear the istqb certification geeta okay i have an experience in development switching to the testing is it good snehal i don't recommend by doing that uh, development is generally well paid but if somehow you are not managing it come to testing as well your java coding or whatever will be useful it will be useful job requirements with each other yes reshma thank you sir sir any project again i told you i'll try to give you some project but again whole hand holding 100 people reviewing all your test cases reviewing all your defects and all that will be difficult maybe we can do something called a peer review so whatever the uh, work done by abhishek we can have rohit review it and whatever rohit has done we can have uma review it we can do something called a peer review okay so i am doing manual testing in job okay wonderful uh, uma okay today i have learned newly in testing thank you vinu wonderful i am glad you have learned a lot vinu try to understand try to come to all the classes you will i am i bet you if you work for 5 years still there is so much that you can learn from these classes i can bet you you know because these classes are very very carefully designed lot of efforts went into this you know okay so today i have learned new things okay wonderful uh, somebody is unmuted yeah, themselves uh, rajendra please go ahead and ask the question yeah uh, mr kumar uh, your class was uh, really good uh, thanks for Thank the you, uh, you know uh, one hour of uh, demo session i uh, can i just uh, switch on the camera so that we can see our teacher yourself <laughs> <laughs> i'm not <laughs> i'm not prepared to show my face to you later on i'll no, do that uh, it's all okay. fine but uh, you have been showing only the notepad and uh, writing notes on that, it that's what you get that's but, what you uh, get you are know, <laughs> uh, curious not, enough for, to <laughs> see the teacher also <laughs> no, no, i'm not a vijay devarkonda <laughs> or uh, no, not, not like that no, so it's uh, simply only to uh, yeah, let, let, let's get to know each other well uh, then probably of the fourth or fifth class we will try to showcase your face okay but not right now sorry about it okay okay cheap okay we will we'll get to know don't worry about it you know i'll show the face 100% or you just yeah. say a simple thing okay just to say kumar gupta and okay. lord runner you will see hundreds of articles from me okay? okay these are all my articles i have my courses on udemy i am a managing yeah. director of isha and i am everywhere on tutorials point my classes are there okay i am there on quora okay. you can okay. you, i am there on facebook uh, you know everything everywhere i am there so you can check yeah. my face from there <laughs> okay okay, okay? So, uh, okay? Uh, now you are speaking from which place uh, you can tell me you are from hyderabad right you are speaking yeah. from hyderabad uh, hyderabad there is lot of background now Okay, thanks a lot. We'll see you tomorrow. Rajendra, sir, after completing class, uh, of... can we get uh, the budding session? There is a lot of Hello. background noise. Uh, people who are speaking only unmute. Others can uh, can mute themselves. Okay, because there is a lot of background noise. There is some music going on. Okay, okay. Now there is no noise. 
sorry yeah go yeah, ahead yeah. Uh, there was a question After that is yes are you sending the recording session yes in the group we will post the video and this material okay uh, we will put put it in the facebook okay so please follow our facebook okay so what i will do is on the facebook there is this uh, uh, facebook okay so there is this page called isha training solutions i will simply put that in the isha training solutions uh, uh, this thing page okay so isha training solutions facebook page so you go like it then you will be able to get all the notes from there so let me see how i can you know get that hang on one second i'm just trying to pull up my isha training solutions page so usually my team looks into it one second let me post it on isha training solutions page on facebook okay <clears throat> So I'll post it over here. Uh, can US time daily same times? Uh, India time 6 p.m. to 7:30 p.m. IST. So you can figure out the Indian time. So what I will do is I'll post it over here. And let me see how I can post it. Okay. So um, messages search. How can I post it? Can somebody tell me? Okay. Anyways, I'll try to post it over this on this page. Try to get it. But today what I'll do is I'll send it in the chat window. Okay, today I'll put it in the chat window, all the notes, you take the notes from the chat window guys. Okay, so I've already put it in the chat window. All you do is copy paste and uh, uh, use your web WhatsApp and get it to your notepad or computers. Okay, I've already put it in the chat window. Did it, did it go? Okay, yeah, did it did go, so yeah, so try to uh, take it from here. Okay, so I've already put it from tomorrow onwards. I'll put it in my uh, Facebook uh, page and Isha page. Try to like my pages on LinkedIn and Facebook so that uh, you will be able to get the notes from there. Okay, from tomorrow, I will I will put the running notes. The running notes are the class notes, whatever you call it. Okay, people call it as running notes or class notes on my Facebook. Uh, page uh, and LinkedIn page. Okay. LinkedIn. Page. I have one question. Okay. So, menu daily session timings. Please like it. Like oh, one minute. Please like my pages so that you get the notes. Okay. The session timings, guys. It's already been conveyed in the WhatsApp group. The session timing, somebody is asking about the US timings as well. It's already multiple times we have posted in the group. Um, let me see where it is. Somebody can copy paste in the WhatsApp group, guys. The timings. Can you help these guys? Where it is? Almost so much activity is there in the. Okay, you see, these are the timings: 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. IST for the Indian students. Uh, if you are there in the U.S., it is 8:30 a.m. to 9:30 a.m. EST. If you are there in the U.K., these are the timings. Okay, so these are the timings, guys. Okay. Did you get it? Whoever ever asked for it. Yes, I've got it. Okay, so these are the timings, folks. So all of you, are you comfortable with my language? Because people might be coming from different backgrounds. Some of them can be non-IT. Some of them coming from a small villages. Okay, so are you comfortable with the with the language that I'm using? And uh, some of them come coming from different countries. Okay, I've posted the timings in both the GoToMeeting chat window and my WhatsApp group as well. Okay, so are you okay? Okay, and somebody serious in IT and not good with communication skills, parallelly you have to develop your communication skills, guys. Okay, the, I, I, I came from a very, very small place in a remote place, Telangana. Okay, the way I've improved my English is even before going to US, I could improve this English because I used to use, uh, used to see, you know, this uh, uh, series called, uh, what was that? Um, uh, popular series in US okay popular soap opera soap opera in US what was that um, there was there was this um, I've, I literally forgot it what was that um, you start seeing any English okay with the subtitles and practice it in the mirror that's what I used to do but I tried with a lot of web series but uh, I figured out that there was one web series which was very very good tomorrow I'll get back to you on that one there was a wonderful series a soap opera which was very very popular not friends not friends it, it is it is like you know uh, those um, not uh, what do you say like you know animated animated soap operas okay animation not uh, not the real one okay ah this one this one okay what is this 
uh, what is this one guys uh, any idea anybody watch this long, long simpson episode? simpson simpson simpson, simpson. Wonderful. okay this is using which simpsons okay the, it's a longest uh, running american show so i used to watch this just for 10 to 15 minutes try to understand in indian english how do i say the same thing in american english how they are saying how to put up the accent i used to spend one to two hours for just 10 minutes i need not have to watch a 10 series or 20 series only by series seeing three to four series my english has improved so much because i see it only for five minutes spend one to two hours only on that five minutes okay try to understand try to put that same in the english like i mean in indian english how do i you know say that then go back how these american guys are saying it then come back and try to you know uh, do it myself a lot of efforts goes into it but you know you spend one to two hours every day then definitely your english will improve and in it people look for english a lot okay if your skill set is little bit here and there also they will accept but if your communication is here and there they are not going to accept guys okay 100 percent trust me okay so that's what it is guys so with that note i'm closing i hope there are no more questions with you okay so um, and i've put the running notes in that in the chat window already okay so wherever that group was okay this is where it is i've put it over there uh, but tomorrow onwards i'll put it in my facebook uh, pages okay so if somebody wants in their emails uh, so maybe that that is too much work for me if somebody is finding it really difficult to get it from the whatsapp so maybe in the class somebody take it and then put it in a google drive and share it with everybody guys somebody can talk the ownership i will really appreciate that but my team is working really hard these are the free running sessions i cannot put them under a lot of pressure maybe if somebody take the ownership of this running notes put it in a uh, put it in a uh, google drive or something like you know uh, google docs and then share it with everybody i'll be more than happy okay if somebody is taking that responsibility uh, i'll be happy you can contact me separately uh, kumar my number is this thing guys okay 8019952427 okay this is my number uh, 8019952427 if you are there in other countries okay so you just have to add 91 to it okay you just have to add 91 to it home where is home okay okay 912 it so if you wants to discuss something or take the ownership and then you know wants to put it in a somewhere this running notes call me i'll tell you i'll hook you up with my team you can work with my team too to get the emails and then uh, you know take care of the running notes so is there any useful for first year students regarding degree based students 100 percent anybody can attend anybody who wants to create a uh, career in it can attend it okay your mother can attend it father anybody can attend it okay who wants to know about this okay there were some questions he said you know ashwini i have a personal question I have a teaching experience and resigned last year in august i have failed to give my best in the interviews with lack of techniques so learned coding uh, in cup of tea uh, uh, i want to enroll for the testing complete course and put years of fake experience i'm scared okay ashwini you need to call me okay this big question uh, it's a huge question any questions i have missed out in the chat window uh, put it okay uh, sri has asked a question sri dikshita I want to get into business analytics. How far learning testing course will fetch me? Definitely, it will fetch you a lot. A lot of things you learn here uh, will help you become a business analyst. So, uh, business, you know, BA is what we call it. B BSA is what we call it, business system analyst or business analyst. If time is not important, you say that Sri Dikshita, my one hour is very, very important to me. If you are that person, don't attend it my one hour i want to effectively utilize um it is not so important but i wanted to know then you come to the class this 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 so many things over here will be very helpful okay so vishnu has asked the question this app is working very slow once chat screen will be opening sir again it is not going back to the main screen that is because of your internet speed um, make sure you are on broadband or make sure your internet speeds are very very good okay then then it will work vishnu because others don't have that problem. Person with Microsoft account, I display your name, brother. You're asking so many questions. You have to display your name. I have four plus years of experience in manual testing. Wonderful. Then why are you attending? Be my trainer, okay? But after six years gap in my career, so let me know if you have any connections in US. Uh, they required manual testers. Whatever, you, you don't even display your name and you're expecting me to help you. That's not fair, okay? display your name and come back to me maybe after the class after the whole course is done we will work out something okay now next question is uh, 
will we get the recording absolutely tomorrow morning we will share the recording videos by 12 don't don't spam the whatsapp group saying that recording is not done not shared not shared again i'm saying they will take my team will take their own sweet time by 12 1 or 2 they will post the recording okay of this class okay so with that i am closing the session i thoroughly shubangini okay thanks shubangini finally okay complete this course i'll try to find something for you okay again i'm not giving any promises maybe if something comes across i'll do that okay let me stop the screen sharing first